The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. See that scaffold up again. Right, son. Hanging somebody, even a killer like Juan Muggione, is bad business. <coughs> sure is quiet. Folks don't want to be around till the hanging's over. Yeah, I see what you mean. Mark, you go buy your slate quick and get to school, huh? Yes, sir. Lucas. Hello, Beasley. Oh, I'm mighty glad you're here. Yes, sir, I'm mighty glad. Is it just going to be the two of us? Well, the marshal says that two guards is enough, but I sure don't agree with him. Uh, hanging Juan Muggione is not like hanging an ordinary man. Well, I don't think there'll be any trouble. Everybody's satisfied he had a fair trial. Well, just the same, I'm glad I wasn't on the jury, and being foreman like you was, well, no telling what that witch Dr. Paul of Juan's will do. He don't hold with our laws. The muggy owns don't hold with anybody's laws. That's why they're outcasts from their own tribe. Well, I need another nickel. I made a mistake. The big slates cost 15 cents. All right. Here, now, you hurry along. This is no place for you, Mark. All right. <laughs> of death for my son. My tongue spoke for 12 men. A lawful jury. One tongue say die. You, Mugion's son, never die. When Moon is up there, he ride. He ride with Moon. He come for you, Lucas McCain. When Moon die, you die. It's the Mescalero curse. He's put the Mescalero curse on you. Burial? Yeah, wipe out the disgrace of hanging. Thanks for helping me, Lucas. No thanks necessary, Michael. I 
they're coming back for. They're over there. I'll open rope shadow. Too fast, wait, shadow, wait! Shadow! Boy, shadow! What's the matter, son? Shadow's back, Paul. He's come to drink out of a trough just like he used to. Well, I, I could have sworn. I think you've been dreaming, Mark. Come on. But I heard him. Remember how Shadow used to come at night when it was quiet? Sure, but that was a year ago, Mark. A wild stallion doesn't usually come back once he's moved on to a new graze. You know that. Yeah, I guess it was a dream. Sure it was. Come on, get under the cover, son. Paul? What? When a person's got a curse on them, are they sure to die? There's no such thing as a curse, son, no matter what you've seen or heard. But Muggy Owen's a witch doctor. He's a man, son, just like anybody else. The only thing special about him is his hate. He's so full of it, he, he scares people. You mean it? He just threw that head at you to scare you? Sure. Fear and superstition, Mark, those are the weapons of hate. And they work sometimes if people aren't thinking straight. Remember how I showed you that head was nothing more than a few scraps of buffalo hide stuffed with grass? Yeah. Well, fears are like that. You tear them apart and take a good close look at them, and they're not scary anymore. But isn't a witch doctor supposed to be magic? <laughs> There's plenty of magic in the world, sun. Sun, moon, stars, growing things. Plenty of magic. But witch doctors don't make it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Good. Now, you better get to sleep, son. Tom and Jake will be here in the morning to help with the roundup. There'll be plenty of work for all of us to do. Night, Paul. Night, son. Anybody see who was riding that horse? It was Juan Maguillon, risen from the dead. If the curse had started, there's always three deaths. Somebody else will die before Lucas McCain's turn. Can we finish this job for McCain? I'm gonna rent me the best room in the hotel and sleep for a week. Yeah, well, right now you go check them stairs, because this is your four-hour shift. Mm-hmm. Back about midnight. Jake. 
No. No. Jake, what's the matter? No. no. What's wrong? No. No. I saw him. I saw him riding a black stallion. Those eyes burning. Burning. Jake. Jake. Burning. Burning. Come on, Jake. No. 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 McCain! McCain, open up quick! Tom, what happened? Something's wrong with Jake. He says he's burning up. Well, let's get him inside. Right over here, Tom. Easy, Jake. He's burning up all right. When did he start getting sick? I don't know. He was all right when I left him. He was supposed to take over from me about midnight. When I rode in, he was like this. You better go get the doc. Take a fresh horse, Tom. There he is. There he is. Easy, Jake. There he is. Easy. Burning eyes. A ghost. Hurry up, Tom. He's bad. Think he'll make it, Paul? I hope so, son. He'll kill me. He'll kill me. Take it easy, Jake. One muggy on. One lucky up. He's dead, son. Well, in all my years of practicing. I never seen anything like it. Well, he was in bad pain, Doc. I sure appreciate you coming out anyway. Well, I wish I could explain it to you, Lucas, but I just can't. You know, the town's pretty edgy, Doc. Nothing scares folks as much as something they can't understand. Did you say he was seeing things before he died? Yeah, he thought somebody was coming at him. Well, Jimson weed can cause a man to have visions, and fits, too. Is that what the Indians call the trumpet flower? You think Jake got a hold of some of that? And I don't know how. I've never seen any around here. Have you, Lucas? No, I haven't, Doc. But then I've never gone looking for it. Well, I'm sorry I can't give you more to go on. Get up! What do you suppose happened to Jake? Muggy on. He's behind Jake's death. What I can't figure out is how. Lucas, Muggy on was in town last night. Lobo, too. You sure? Made my rounds at midnight. They were coming out of the saloon. Now, even Muggy on can't be two places at the same time. See what it is. Well, it's a ghost. I saw him right out here. Well, it wasn't a dream this time, Paul. Well, whatever you saw, son, it's gone. You don't believe me? Oh, I believe you saw something. I'm just not sure what it was. But I did. I saw him right out. Right, Mark, try and calm down, son. Maybe you can describe it for me. Come on. Well, it, it, it was a big horse. And a giant riding him. A giant with fire coming out of his eyes. A giant, huh? Now, tell me slowly, Mark. What color was the horse? I, I don't know. Lots of colors. What color, son? Red? Purple? Black? Oh, black. That's it. He, it was a big black horse. What else? Uh, what about his mane? Think about it calmly. Well, his mane was black, too, and... and long. 
real long. And when he, when he runs, it stands out. And he raises his front legs real high when he's running, j just like Shadow used to. Anything else? He, he has a white spot between his eyes and, and a halter. A halter with a broken rope. Boy, it was Shadow. It was. I think you're right, son. It means he was caught and tied and broke loose somehow. You didn't see a ghost, Mark. You saw a horse in trouble. But Shadow's wild. How could anybody ride him? Well, I don't know. Let's turn in now. We'll talk about it in the morning. Yes, sir. Taking the mare, Paul. She's always kind of skittish when she's alone. I know, son, but she used to run with Shadow's herd. I'm hoping she'll lead me to him, or vice versa. I heard a drum last night, Paul, real late. I heard it too, son. It's part of the Mescalero funeral ceremony. The last night of the full moon, the Indians cremate their dead. Please don't go into Twin Peaks alone, Paul. Well, all the kids say it's Indian medicine country. It's Shadow's country, too. And it was Shadow who paid us a call last night. But the... The one who's riding him wants to kill you, Paul. And whoever it is, he knows Twin Peaks country better than anyone. If Mike and do, he'd send a posse along with you. A posse would raise the dust of the show for miles, son. Now, the best way to track a wild stallion is quietly and alone. I'd be quiet. You have to be in school, son. I could make up whatever I miss. I want you to stay with Millie. Now stop, Freddie. I'll be back by tomorrow night. I promise you, Mark, there's nothing to worry about. something, girl? He's up there, isn't he? Well, you know this place better than I do. Here's one trail you can pick for both of us. Let's find him.
Well, I didn't expect to see you so soon, Maguillon. So that we did have something to do with Jake's death, huh? You drugged him, frightened him to death, and then rode to town. Lucas McCain, think like eagle. Leave trail like ox. Moon dies tonight, Lucas McCain. <laughs> Mescalero Apaches can do almost anything with a horse. Torment him or train him. Roping a dummy to a wild stallion is a trick they've used for years. In the early days, they did it to scare the settlers. Maguillon and Lobo used it to kill. I've never seen rocks like these before. No, you find them in mines and caves. There's a lot of them around Twin Peaks. Wonder what makes them shine. Well, one thing is for sure, son. It's not a ghost. Oh, I know that now, Bo, for sure. Of course, I, uh, I don't have to tell that to my school friends. <laughs> 